I'm working on an array of fans and the first thing I need is I need to put in a fuse and I've got a fuse holder and you've everybody's seen these I'm sure they come in different configurations this one has two flat sides one on this side and one on this side let's see if you can see that yeah you can see the reflection there on the flat part and then the reflection on that flat part so it's got two flats so usually what you have to do is you have to buy a punch and they're not cheap and of course you need one for every different size fuse holder you're gonna put in and all that stuff and it's yeah it's expensive and you don't do it that often and whatever so the best thing I have found let me show you how that works and it's not a great solution but it's adequate so this is the retainer nut as you can see it fits on the drill bit rather loosely so I got a drill bit that's a little bit looser a little bit smaller in other words than the size that this needs to be um, and simply what I do is I drill a hole like this and then tip it sideways like this like this so I end up with an oblong hole and if we go back and look at this you can see that essentially this is an oblong this is an oval it's flat on this side round on this side flat on this side round on this side so it's it's an oval like that and okay this sort of works you again want to use a drill bit that's smaller than than the uh, maximum size here. The other thing I've used is I have used a reamer and it will do the same thing. So drill a smaller hole and then go in here and ream it out on each end. Uh, you can also drill a small hole and if you have like a Dremel and a grinder you can grind out each end like that. But again start with a smaller hole and then grind it out until you have kind of an oval shape. And you won't get a great, you know, it won't be a perfect fit, but when it's in here, let's see if I get it in here the right way, uh, when it's in there, it will lock, and when it's tightened down, it won't, it won't move too much, and yeah, so unless you go out and buy the expensive panel punches, those are my best solutions for mounting one of these fuse holders. Okay, hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electronics projects.